How's it going everyone? Today I'm going to show you guys how to do my version of a simple fix and wax. It's only two ingredients. It's nothing crazy. So today we're going to have a couple of tools that we have to use. We're going to use the cutting board so that we don't cut and scratch up the table. And that's what we're going to cut the wax on using this knife. Now to melt it, we're going to use this pot and this pan that normally you would use this for melting chocolate or something like that. But what you do is you fill this up with water and get it boiling. And you put your wax in here. And as the water's boiling, that steam's gonna rise and the heat's gonna collect underneath the here. And that's actually what's gonna melt the wax so that we don't burn the wax as opposed to just putting the wax straight into the pot here and letting it be over the flame. starting to boil so while that's boiling and getting ready we can move back over to the table and we can get the wax cut up into the chunks so of what we're gonna do is we're gonna use two different types of wax this is a white colorless um, odorless paraffin wax all it is just wax um, and then the next thing we're gonna use is yellow beeswax and the way I do it is I use it uh, one part beeswax to two parts paraffin wax. I'm going to cut a nice chunk off, maybe. That should be plenty for the paraffin. So that's what we're going to use. That amount of paraffin wax and then we're going to take our beeswax and we're going to cut roughly about half of that off of this block to do the two to one ratio. Beeswax actually is really good. They use it for a lot of things. They use it as a stiffening agent in a lot of things. There we go. That'll be plenty for the beeswax. Yeah, maybe I'll take off a little bit more. So that's what I'm going to use the beeswax to the paraffin wax. Now they use paraffin wax as a sealer. You can use it to seal your canned goods if you do any jarring, anything like that. But the beeswax is a good stiffening agent that is used in a lot of different things. There was a fifth tool. I'm just using a, a cupcake pan that I got at the dollar store for a buck. That's what I'm going to put the wax in so that I can make my little hockey pucks so that I can have it if I'm out in the woods and, you know, for anything really. You know, f fixing wax, in my opinion, just isn't for, you know, just fixing your gear. I've used fixing wax to help start fires before. Speaking of fires, I'm actually going to take and cut a few pieces of twine and dip them in the wax so that I can have a... Uh, a wax coated jute twine also for helping light fires. This jute twine, I'm going to cut them in maybe about a two foot section. I'm going to use my pocket knife here. Just cut a few two foot sections. So I'm going to start getting the, the paraffin wax put in the, the pot there so we can get it over on that boiling water and get, start getting it melted down. Once that's melted down, then I'll ask, I'll add the big chunk of the, the beeswax. And I'm going to break that down a little bit more than this big chunk. And so I'll, I'll break it all down probably by pieces about that big. So it'll be easier to melt down. So that wax that we put in there, it started melting down already. I might have to cut some more up and put it in there depending once these bigger chunks get melted down better i'm gonna put i might end up putting more wax in there more of the paraffin wax and then maybe more of the uh the beeswax as well to see what we have so i did end up adding a little bit more of the paraffin wax just to give us more volume and as soon as these chunks here are melted down completely i'm going to add in all the uh the uh yellow beeswax now that all that wax 
wax is melted down, we're going to start adding in that uh, beeswax that I cut up earlier. Get that melted down as well. I know it looks like it's more, but I had a lot more shavings rather than chunks of the beeswax than I did the paraffin. Back over here at the table, I laid out a piece of parchment paper, which is just wax paper, so that whenever I get my jute twine and I get it pulled out and it's uh, starting to solidify as it's hanging there, I'm going to lay them out on here so that I don't get the wax all over the table. That beeswax that I just put in there is pretty much melted out. I just got that one little chunk there yet. And as soon as it's done, I'll start dipping some uh, some some of that jute twine in there. All right, so the wax is all completely melted out. Down, I'm sorry, melted down. I'm going to start dipping some of this jute twine in there. Get it all covered. I'm gonna do one piece at a time so that it doesn't get all tangled up. All right, so all the wax jute twine is all done. It's pretty dry for the most part. Um, you know, let it just sit here and then maybe I'll split up a couple pieces of fat wood and wrap it around the fat wood so that, um, you know, you have your, your fire starting right there. You know what I mean? put a pot holder down so that whenever I put the wax into the mold um, it won't burn the, the table there you go. pouring it in I only made a small batch so I'm not sure how many little pucks I'm gonna get but pour it in make your pucks I'm only gonna get four out of this what we gotta do now is just let that uh that wax combination solidify and when it's ready you're ready to use it you can use it to wax a canvas bag to make that bag waterproof um put wax all over your gear your leather gear your canvas gear um put it on your knife handles to help preserve your knife knife handles you know the 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 opportunities are limitless so what i did here is i broke down a few pieces of fat wood that i had and what I'm going to do, is I'm just going to take that wax jute twine that I just uh, made and I'm going to wrap it around there. And put two pieces around here. Just like that. And I'll put this other piece on there too. And just like that, you have a piece of fat wood, you can get your shavings off. That's nice resinous stuff right there. Then you have your wax jute twine. All right, everyone. So we have our wax jute twine wrapped around our fat wood. That's all done. That's ready for, for fire use. Now, obviously, you take this jute twine off and you, you, know, you tear it apart. You fluff it up so it will be nice to catch a spark. You can scrape off some of your fat wood on there so it helps start the fire and you have your fixing wax they're all they're all cold down and you can use that like i was saying so that you can um, help maintain your gear you can put it on your leather to keep it um as a waterproof um many 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 different uses for for this fixing wax um if you have a piece of canvas that you want to wax to make it waterproof you can use it um just all around good tool to keep. And I like keeping it in little hockey pucks like this. They're small. You can store it in a bag and uh, keep it in your pack. So thank you all for watching. I hope you liked the video and I hope you liked seeing what I was able to make. Definitely good. Definitely going to be doing some more videos on uh, making stuff. You all have a good one.